Previously, we talked about unit tests and widget tests in Flutter. Unit tests and widget tests are handy for testing individual classes, functions, or widgets. However, they generally don't test how individual pieces work together as a whole, or capture the performance of an application running on a real device. These tasks are performed with integration tests. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about integration tests in Flutter. Now let's get started with setting up integration tests in Flutter. In this tutorial, we will be using this Flutter test package. This package is automatically added to your Flutter project by default during project creation. So firstly, I have a counter integer variable and a functions that increment the counter value by one. Below, I have a text widget to display the counter value and a button to execute the increment function. So whenever the user click on the button, the counter value should increment by one and reflect reactively in the app screen. This is the expected behavior, but how can we validate it? Either by manually test the feature or automate it with the test code, which integration test comes into place. Next, begin by writing our first integration test code. All test code files should be placed inside the test folder. This test folder is created by Flutter Framework during project creation. All test functions will execute inside a main method. Don't forget to import the Flutter test package. Integration test uses the test widget function provided by Flutter test package to define a test. This test widget function takes a description string and a function as parameters. Here I will add a random description. The function parameter is where we write our test code. Firstly, we have to use widget tester.pump widget function to build the widget tree. In the function, we have to pass in the widget tree that we wanted to test on. Next, we have to firstly verify that the initial counter value is zero using expect function. So in the expect function, we are looking for a text widget which the value is zero. After that, we simulate a tap on the button using widget tester.tap function. But how does it know which button to tap? Here we have to use common finder and look for elevated button. After button tap, we have to execute another widget tester.pump function to rebuild the widgets and update the UI. Lastly, we execute another expect function, but this time we're looking for text widget with value one because the initial counter value should be incremented after the tap function above. Now we have completed with our test code. To run the integration test code, you can use the flutter test command. Flutter will discover and execute all the test files in the test folder. The test will run and the output will be displayed in the terminal. If your test passed, you will see a success message. But if there are failures, it will provide information about which test failed and why. So as you can see in the terminal, our widget tree has passed the integration test. With the test result, we can know that the widget tree works perfectly fine without the need of launching the app to test manually. So this is how you execute integration testing in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.